You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports 2. Let's talk about Lamar Jackson because we've got a very interesting report that has come in regarding Lamar Jackson and his future with the Baltimore Ravens. And if you're a Ravens fan and you like Lamar and want Lamar to stay, this will probably be a little troubling. Of course, many people speculate that he may not make it to 20, the start of the 2023 season, that the Ravens may choose to ship him out of town. We know he's after the Deshaun Watson fully guaranteed contract. We know he rubbed publicly. You could blatantly see it. He rubbed John Harbaugh the wrong way by not coming back from this knee PCL injury and playing in the playoff game. A lot of Ravens fans were upset with that. Sammy Watkins was upset with that. And uh, it even got worse every single time Patrick Mahomes got hurt and then went back out on the field. And then Patrick Mahomes went back out on the field and won a Super Bowl with a bum high spur high ankle sprain and i don't know if you know about high ankle sprains they're pretty nasty they're very nasty they're not your run-of-the-mill ankle sprain okay so we know they got rid of greg roman looking for a new offensive coordinator so they went into a offensive coordinator search right and uh some interesting reveals are coming out of that now because evidently the ravens were not willing to commit to lamar jackson during these interviews with the OCs, basically, they said, no, we can't really tell you that Lamar's going to be here next year because we don't really know. Oh, wait a minute. What happened to 200%? That's interesting. Report reveals that Ravens OC candidates about Lamar Jackson's future, Larry Brown Sports, and we also got the latest betting favorite, for who's going to land Lamar? The Ravens have the power to prevent Lamar Jackson from playing for another team next season. But that does not mean they are fully confident that the star quarterback will be under center for them in week one. The Ravens on Tuesday hired former Georgia offensive coordinator Todd Munkin as their new OC. I kind of like this hire for some odd reason. According to a report from Jordan Schultz of The Athletic, None of the offensive coordinator candidates they interviewed with Baltimore were given assurances that Jackson will be the team's quarterback in 2023. Yikes. Jackson will likely receive the franchise tag if he and the Ravens cannot work out a long-term extension. All that would mean is he could not play for another team next season unless the Ravens decided to trade him. The former MVP could still choose to not sign the franchise tender and set out for either some or all of 2023, which players have done in the past. Ravens head coach John Harbaugh said that after the season that it was, quote, 200% certain Jackson would be the team's quarterback next year. However, a recent report claimed that the Baltimore could be tempted to trade Jackson depending on how the situation unfolds. It's unclear what the Ravens would do if Jackson demanded a trade. The quarterback has been representing himself in contract negotiations. That's made things incredibly hard. And the two sides do not seem anywhere close to a long-term agreement. If Harbaugh truly did tell OC candidates that he did, he is not certain Jackson will be in Baltimore's, uh, will be Baltimore's quarterback next season, that could be a bad sign about where things currently stand. And by the way, from a betting standpoint, updated odds as of the 14th has Lamar Jackson as the favorite to land in Atlanta. Atlanta Falcons, that's right. By the way, Aaron Rodgers, favorites for the Raiders now. Jets are in second place for Lamar and Aaron Rodgers. Interesting. They've got Derek Carr... To the Panthers. I think the Panthers and the Saints are the two strongest candidates there. And I did see some rumblings of Jimmy G to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I don't know. We'll see. I still think Jimmy G and the Raiders may be a fit there because of Josh McDaniels, right? 
and the uh, familiarness between McDaniels and Garoppolo. Uh, so that's interesting, okay? That tells us right there we don't know. It's incredibly hard for Baltimore to negotiate because – what happens when you have an agent? The agent goes in, sets down with the team, and the team can be really frank with the agent, okay? They can say things that they wouldn't say to the quarterback, and they can say things that would be hurtful, and the agent can shield the client from that, and then the agent can fire back, and they can go back and forth through this whole process. But it keeps sore feelings out of it between the club and the player, okay? Well, in this case, you got the player who's also the agent. And as you can imagine, as things fire back and forth, things may start getting personal. Again, knee injury that there was some debate as to how serious said knee injury was in Baltimore, okay? Plus, he wants the Deshaun Watson contract. We know the Deshaun Watson contract is viewed as a league-wide pariah. It's not going to happen. He's not getting that contract. The league has tried to course correct. The, the contracts that have followed for quarterbacks after that were not the fully guaranteed variety. It's over. That's not happening. And uh, an agent could set him down and say, look, Lamar, that contract is simply not available, okay? Whether you want to call it collusion or whatever you want to call it, the league's owners have gotten together and said that Jimmy Haslam is an idiot. I mean, you know, you gave a full guarantee contract to a guy that had a bunch of uh, uh, misconduct lawsuits on him, right, for, for uh, late-night sneaky uncle massages from all these massage therapists. And you gave him the fully guaranteed contract. Right? Okay. And I'm sure, I get it, Lamar is sitting back going, well, wait a minute now. I'm as good a quarterback as Deshaun Watson, personally speaking. I think he's better. All right. I think he's more talented. He's the one with the MVP. And he's also thinking, sitting back going, I'm not a scumbag. And he got the fully guaranteed contract, and I'm not going to get that? Are you shitting me? And the club's got to go back and say, we're not giving it to you because it was a mistake what Cleveland did, and we're not going to repeat what they did regardless of Deshaun Watson. Cleveland was desperate. And that and that's the, the reason, okay, that they ended up with Deshaun Watson because he had removed uh, uh, the, the Browns from his list. And then they came roaring back with a, we'll guarantee the whole contract. All right. And uh, you see the Jets in this. What's odd? Could the Jets be asked out of all this? Because I don't think Derek Carr is ultimately going to the Jets. I think it's a terrible fit. It's not that he wouldn't be a better quarterback option. I just don't think the city fits with Derek because I think Derek's got the kind of personality the New York media would eat Derek Carr alive. I think Jimmy Garoppolo could handle it because he got a little swag. He was in New England. New England media can be a little gruff from time to time. He played behind Tom Brady, so the room's not too big for him, and he can get up there, and he can answer questions and and this, that, and the other. If he gets hurt, good luck to him, Jimmy. Uh, I still think that's a possibility because of Robert Sala, but the Texans is another big possibility with Jimmy G. Uh but could the Jets come out of this with no quarterback? I, I, I kind of wonder. It, it kind of feels like it's angling in the direction unless they swoop in on this Lamar Jackson thing out of nowhere. But I think you could get a team. like I, I think you could get an Arthur Blank because they went all in. They tried. They were, I think, the second team. In the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes, the Atlanta Falcons, Arthur Blank could go in and say, look, go get me Lamar Jackson. And a move like this in great deal can be dictated by an owner. And look, that city would love Lamar Jackson. Oh, I mean, it would be the second coming. Oh, my goodness. Vic 2.0. You know, and that city would 
from an NFL standpoint, the Falcons, Lamar Jackson, that city would explode. It'd be a fun game to watch on TV, too. It really would. Calvin Ridley is repl- uh, pl- uh, applying to get back in the league right now, by the way. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.